I'm redoing my French, a deep French. I'm gonna draw my grid lines first. The long brush allows me to get nice and straight lines with ease. Round these corners off. This is a gel art paint. It won't run, as you can see. I, this formula is my own formula. I came up with this formula myself. The consistency, the pigment is amazing for me to do line work and not lose my shape. Now I'm gonna switch over to my flat brush. Set myself some time here. So pigmented it is, I don't lose my shape. Are the gel pots same as gel art? S gel art gel nail art paint. Mm, I think gel nail art paint is the same as gel pot. It depends on what you're 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 you're, uh, you're talking about. If you're talking about those gel liner paints, no, these are this is different. This is not gel polish. This is gel art paint. It's very pigmented, very thin. I'm just gonna cover as much as I can, and then I'll be able to go back through with the the brush to get the corners and everything nicely. Just, it just saves me a lot of time, guys. I'm not gonna use that small ass brush and try to paint this in. That's why I have this, this brush is specifically made for a nice edge here. Get in there, get most of that. And you only need one coat of this. It just saves so much time. <gasps> so much time. Oop, I kind of messed that one up a little bit. That was okay. I'll remove it later with the acetone. I'll make it work. I kind of have like the grid lines what I need. I was, I was got a little bit too cocky there. These are the new collection. You can buy this in a bundle, all seven brushes. I think buy six get the seventh free something like that. It's a pretty good deal. That's paint though. You guys see that? How pigmented it is one thin coat. That's all you need. Look, the shape is still there. Look at that shape. Just look at it. I'm gonna go through and just crisp up the lines a little bit. Bring this in. Give myself that deep, deep French. Using a shorter brush. I don't wanna use the long one here. Get that deep. Voila.
Yes, I'm not even using any paint. I'm not getting a new paint. I'm just reusing what I have on here. Because it's so pigmented. I just, I don't want, you don't want it too thick. Beautiful. Look at that. Enough to make you cry. See that? Not even bringing any new polish up. Just what I have. <laughs> it's so easy. Just gotta have the right product sometimes, you know? See how the line's so crisp? Hey, what's up, Leah? some room for error here. Let's bring it up a little bit higher. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't be lazy on this too. Make sure you get it nice and, and perfect. You didn't spend an hour on a set to be lazy during this part and not have your set look crisp. <sighs> There's something satisfying about the hey from South Carolina. I'm going there next year for a class. There's just something satisfying about that, guys. There's just something satisfying about this product, though. Like, look at this product. It looks almost like I cut the powder. It's like one of those memes. How will they know? They will know. How will they know? They won't know. When they see this, they're thinking, oh, I used I used a cutter. I cut black powder into nude powder. Nope, I did this by hand, son. They're gonna know. And our shape is there. Look at our shape. We didn't even lose any shape. And look, did the gel move at all? No, it didn't. Stayed. Go ahead. In. Hey, come here. Hey, hey, hey. I say stop, stop, okay? In the video? Right. Zoom in or no zoom in? Zoom in under the nail. Right there. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You can okay. go. Thank you. This poor kid thinking he's gonna go to the nail salon with his mom, getting sitting here doing TikTok content for the nail tech. It's the last time you come to the nail salon, huh? Yep. She said, yep. This fucker ain't even, he ain't not even paying me. You know why I don't just go ahead and fill it in one finger at a time? That's called efficiency. If I have to fill it in, I gotta switch brush, go back to this brush, switch brush, go back to this brush every time. No, I'm gonna get all this out of the way, put away this brush, so I can use my next brush. <laughs> that saved me like, what, 
five minutes of switching back and forth right there. But you wouldn't really think about that, would you? And why don't you just fill it in and do it one finger at a time? There's a reason to my madness. Don't worry. Be happy. See, now I don't have to ever go back to the other brush until I need to. This may seem like it takes a long time, but it's really actually really fast. Because I'm sitting here talking to y'all and having fun and stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. I'll bring it up higher. See that? I done messed up. But that's okay. I just love how pigmented this black is. Just work it in. Make sure you get a nice coat though. If you're doing one coat, make sure you get it nice and black so it's not shaded gray somewhere else. And one of these jars will probably last you for a long time. If you use it all up, it means you made your money back for sure. You need that that flat brush? Oh, Nicole, wait. Nicole, weren't you at the... When you got the, did you not get it in, in class? Or, oh, you already had it from the last class, the other one. Yeah, the other flat brush is a little bit wider. This, the new, the new version is thinner, skinnier. The other one will work just as fine, my older generation. Black is the truth. It tells no lies. Okay. Switch to my other brush. Get that deep oval French. Get in the deep. Get deep in there. Get those corners. So we know dang well the haters are always gonna be zooming into our pictures, nitpicking at every little thing, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't listen to me. Take your time. Breathe. Hold your breath to get that steady hand if you have to. Don't breathe. Get those corners nice and rounded. Nothing more satisfying than taking your time and actually achieving the look Nothing more frustrating than trying to rush and not get the look that you're trying to achieve and spending hours on the work that you just did. There's nothing more frustrating than that. That will rip someone's soul apart. <laughs> bad boy bad boy get 
The reason why I want to use a shorter brush with this, I don't want this to bend. Because I have to go around corners, so I need a shorter brush. Make sure I get all the edges here on the tips here. Sometimes you miss some edge here. And we're on our last finger. Ideally, you can probably do this with black powder and nude powder and cut it. But guess what? Black powder is a mess to work with. And then the client can't really reuse this. If my client wants a refill, all she got to do is come in. I drill it off, refill, have a nice base color. Right? Okay. We're done. Just gonna round these off a little bit more. There should be a little bit. Oh, Jesus. It dips a little bit too low here. I'm gonna just round it off a little bit. So give it more of a bigger dip down here. There we go. You can tell I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to doing this stuff. Because I will get so annoyed when I see the picture and I'm like, I could have done that, could have done that. Okay. Okay, so now my next step will be blooming gel. I'm gonna go ahead and use Wave Gel's Clear Evolution Gel, i.e. Bloom Gel. I'm going to take this nude out, nude gel polish. This is where I can't mess up. Get my detail two brush out. I use this end. Small detail two brush. I'm gonna use a thin coat of the blooming gel over the whole nail. Or evolution gel, blooming gel, that's what it's called. Evolution is the brand. Uh, Web gel is the brand. And I'm gonna test out one finger first, okay? Take this brush here, it's a small brush. And I'll be able to do that. Dab, dab, dab. Not too bad, not too shabby. I'm gonna pop these bubbles here. Come on, bubble pop. Hmm? Oh, these bubbles. It's from the gel polish. Okay, here. I'll do it one at a time. Cause I don't want it. I don't want it to ruin it. I'll do it one at a time. What's that mean? Boom, bam, bada bop, boop. <laughs> Is that how it goes? That one uh, TikTok uh, sound clip. Boom, bam, bada bop. Yeah. Bada bop, boop. The 
The reason why I use this over a dot or two because I want a nice, I want like little tiny squares. Don't worry if it overflows a little bit later. I'm going to file the shape a little bit before we um, top coat. We're going to let this bloom a little bit. In. The smaller finger is definitely the harder one. Actually, I'm gonna use the dialing tool for this one because it's a bigger finger, so. Ooh, no. See how the dialing tool is just so much shit? All right, I gotta, I gotta control that a little bit. A little bit too much there. Went too ham. The reason why I use the other one for the pinky is because it's small, I need a straight edge. But let's do the dialing tool. Too much blooming gel. It's okay. I'm not happy with that. I put too much blooming gel. I could put a thinner coat. Remember, if you mess up, you just gotta redo it, okay? Very thin coat. I put too much, so it kind of gooped up. designs take a lot of work a lot of times when clients bring this in they think oh it's very easy just crocodile skin over black french that you have to freehand sis it ain't that easy this is why you pay for your nail and they can then they want 30 dollars sets as Bubble here. Jesus, come on. 
Oh, it wasn't done to me. So now it's just repetition. Repeat, rinse and repeat, then top coat. Actually, I'm gonna shape, reshape first, then top coat, because I'm gonna lose some shape from this design. So I'm gonna reshape, then top coat. Just a side. here for it to bloom. Okay. So you can reshape this, okay? Before, if anytime you have to reshape a nail after you use gel or something like that, do it before you top coat. Don't top coat, then do it. That does it, you'll break the seal on the top coat. Give some time to bloom. Okay, don't just put it on there. I'm gonna give time to it to spread a little bit. Goddamn bubble, man. This is what this brush is for. <laughs> Popping bubbles. I got three fingers left. Get my bubble popping brush out. <laughs> this is actually really good for popping bubbles. Hey, let me use this to clean it out. Oh, this is when I can't wait for the Cash App sound. We're getting almost there, guys. One more finger, and we have to put the top coat on, and we get to hear the Cash App. Ching. Ching, ching. Our favorite part as nail techs. <laughs> kind of put the square inward a little bit so it gives it time to spread. Jesus, the bubbles in this one. Have you tried doing this as stamping? No. <laughs> I've actually never done stamping before, ever. Never, I've never even attempted it. I should try it one time, but I never had to, I never ran into an issue where I had to do stamping. So I guess I'm blessed. Like my clients never came in with a design where I ever required me to do stamping. A lot of people do still use stamping. I just, I just don't do it. I feel like it's a lot, I feel like stamping is a lot of work. I don't know about you guys. The cleaning process, getting the right product, spreading it evenly. And once you stamp, that's it. There's no going back. You mess up, that's it. Okay. Let's go. We're done. And put away all my brushes in their nice secure cases. Where's the one that fell earlier? Oh, someone picked up for me? Oh, thank you. Naldo. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna go back through and just quickly crisp up the shape again. Usually generally the sides, the front.
usually right here, the corner is where you're gonna lose the shape. So I'll crisp it up. Don't worry, you can use a little bit of alcohol and clean up all the debris before you put your top coat on. But I'm gonna bring my shape in. I haven't put my top coat on yet, so I'm not breaking any seals. You'd be surprised how big of a difference this makes your set look. Spend this extra, maybe one minute just doing this. Now the blooming gel is a runny gel, so it's gonna run and it's gonna change your shape. So I'm gonna take a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna paper towel. I'm just gonna clean it off real quick. Get rid of all the dirt and debris. Now I'm gonna hit it up with the top coat. Here's out my non-cleanse top coat. Very thin, I don't want to lose my shape again. This is a medium consistency top coat. As you can see, it doesn't run. So you'll keep the uh, you'll be able to keep your shape pretty pretty dang good here. On the spots you file, now the top is gonna seal it in. You're a Gucci. Very thin coat is needed, you don't need that much. This top coat is very, very nice. Money back guaranteed. And we're done. I have to go home, drink some wine. some keto oil. What do you guys think? Not too shabby. First time doing this.
Okay. And there we have it, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed that set. Almost like the, the design probably took as long as the freaking set itself. <laughs> Dang it, it's raining. There you guys go. Nude, black French crocodile skin, deep French. Some bougie shit. But look at those cute girls, though, baby. Look at that. Lift wear. Lift wear. We know lifting. Look at that. I'm going to zoom all the way in there. Right there. Look at that. Look at that skin. Look at that. Damn, that's a good zoom there. <laughs> all right, guys. I got to head out. So thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. Make sure you follow.